OK, so welcome to our sheet metal tutorial. This is going to be for a forming tool. So we started by creating a part. So start by extruding a boss from the right plane. We're going to draw a triangle. So from the origin line, or from the origin point, I mean, draw a triangle. And we need to add some dimensions to our feature. Ten by five. Okay, we're happy with that. It's fully constrained, everything's black. So let's uh let's now go to extrude. So extruding boss, blind extrusion. Let's make it 30 mil. Bring it into the screen. Okay, so this is uh, like part of our, our vent section. So now we need a we need a base for our forming tool. So we're going to select the top plane, or you could just pick the face you want to draw on, and we're going to draw a a flat section for the base of our tool. So the offset feature from this face. Okay, we can see it a bit better now. So we've done an offset, 5mm all around from that base face, which was aligned to the front plane. Extrude. Yeah, we're extruding in the wrong direction. And we don't have to make it that, that thick. It only has to be small. So 1mm will do. It's just a reference feature. So, okay, so this is the basis of our forming tool. Let's change the view. We need to add some fillets. So fillet any face that's going to be impressed into the sheet metal part. So if we have a, a sheet metal part that's uh, got one mil rads, um, it's going to be a very thin part that we uh, we impress into. If these rads are, let's say, three mil, we can make a three mil impression on one side and the one mil rad impression on the on the other side for a for a two mil thick part. Okay so okay so we we've got a, the the basis of our forming tool. So let's select forming tool from the sheet metal toolbar. We need to select a stopping face. So the top this top face that's going to be the face that's not impressed into the sheet metal part. And then a face to remove, okay, this front face, because we're going to shear this face off. It's, it's got a nice sharp edge. The forming tool is going to cut as it forms. So we're going to shear off this pink edge. Okay, so our, what we just showed was the positioning, which is central. So everything yellow is going to be formed. The blue part is the actual forming tool base. The red part is uh, going to be sheared. So now we need to save and um, we need to save it as a sp this specific file format. So we need to select form tool and this takes us to the design library section of SolidWorks which uh, we can place things in there. So rename the tool the part vent section, save it and if we go to the design library on the right hand, let's close the entire part. So start a new part. So now we're going to put together our sheet metal part. So sheet metal. Let's go to the top face and draw a box. Starting from the origin. We just need a reference um, part just to kind of like impress into. So Let's give us a dimension. Trying to work out the size that I want this to be. So let's make it 180. And then let's give it a width as well. And everything goes black because it's fully constrained with this dimension. So it's now 60. 
Okay, so we can now extrude. So we've selected base flange. which has created our metal part already. So here we go. Now we can bring in from the design library our vent section, which was pre-placed pre when we saved the vent. Let's uh, bring it over. And it's automatically, it's the wrong way around. We need to change the direction. There you go. So you can see that the, the flat, um, rectangular section is, is formed across, along the base so that we're impressing this part. So you can see from the thickness of the material, which is 2 mil, and the rads we chose, we're just, we've got quite a sharp part formed and we've, we've cut, we've also cut the front face so we've got a gap. The gap we wanted uh, we wanted some rads to show through this part, so we need to change the thickness. Um, so we've got two options. We can either change the rads on the forming tool, or we can change the thickness of the material. Um, because this is a tutorial, we can just change the thickness of the material. So back to the base flange tab. Um, no, that's not the right option. Let's go into the sheet metal. So we had a sheet metal part that was 2 mil, we've changed it to 1 and uh, the forming tool is appropriate so it gives us a rad on both sides now. Now we've got a nicer looking vent section that we've been pressed into our sheet metal part. So our positioning, we've, we've positioned it central to the actual part so Sketch 6 shows us um, how we might position. So if we move the origin for this part over, the whole part will move. Yeah. Doesn't matter how long we make it really. But if we uh, if we were to remove the horizontal and then we were to move it to an angle, the part would change as well. So when you create your vent or when you create your forming tool part, there is a sketch that you can change to change the orientation. So let's uh, put that back, it's horizontal. Um, and we could add some dimensions to position it because we, we really want it to be a set distance from the origin of the, of the metal part that we've set up. So the point is the center point. So selecting the origin of the actual metal part you can bring the whole thing over centrally 65 mil. I mean, select any dimension you like, but that's going to work for us here. And we want it to be set distance down. I think this is right, 15 mil. I'm going to place this. Okay. So, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so it's over in the corner now. So. What we could do, we can build more complicated parts by arraying our forming tool. So let's do a linear pattern. So we begin by selecting the forming tool. And then we need to select how far over and how many parts we need. So direction one, we're going to pick the back edge to tell us what the direction we're going to move. 50 mil across and two replicants, so three in total. It's not quite in the right position. We need to we need to make it 65 mil because we've gone 65 mil over from the center line and that will make everything symmetrical. Yeah, I'm relatively happy with that. Pick 
picking a second direction, direction edge, and we want to go, I think we want to go 30 mil over because we offset by 15 mil. So let's move it over by 30 in the other direction. Create two replicants. So there we go. So now we've, this is starting to look like a, a full and kind of like vent grate or cheese grater even. Um, yeah, so there you have it, a, a basic form tool cutting one face out um, and then multiplying the feature.